Hi friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we are going to see the morphology of Staphylococcus aureus. Sir Alexander Oxton, a Scottish surgeon, established the causative role of the caucus in abscesses and other suppurative lesions and he named it Staphylococcus. The name Staphylococcus is derived from Greek. Staphy meaning a bunch of grapes. Cocos meaning a berry. The major pathogen of this genus is Staphylococcus aureus. On nutrient agar, the colonies of Staphylococcus aureus are in golden yellow in color. The yellow color of the colonies is imparted by carotenoids produced by the organism. The term aureus is derived from Latin which refers to the color of gold. Up to this, we learnt the meaning of the name Staphylococcus aureus and who named it. Next, we are going to say, is Staphylococcus aureus aerobic or anaerobic bacteria? Staphylococcus aureus or aerobic and facultative anaerobic bacteria. Aerobes or organisms which can grow in the presence of oxygen. Facultative anaerobes or organisms that can grow in both the presence or absence of oxygen. Staphylococcus aureus or causative agent of wide range of infectious diseases such as skin infections, bacteremia, endocarditis, pneumonia and food poisoning. Next, we are going to see where is Staph aureus commonly found. Staph aureus is found in the environment and is also found in normal human flora located on the skin, in the nose, armpit, groin and other areas of most healthy individuals. Staph aureus does not normally cause infection on healthy skin. That is, infections occur when staphylococci enter the body through breaks, cuts and abrasions in the skin or mucous membranes. Thus we learned where is staphylococcus commonly found. Next, we are going to see the morphology of staphylococcus aureus. Under morphology, we are going to study about the Krebs reaction, shape, size, arrangement, motility, spore formation and capsule formation. Let's start with gram staining. Gram staining is the first test performed for the identification of bacteria. Staphylococcus aureus is gram positive bacteria. We all know that gram positive means stain purple by gram stain or we can say that organisms that retain the primary color and appears purple under a microscope is called gram positive organisms. We know the primary stain of the Gram's method is crystal violet. Crystal violet is sometimes substituted with methylene blue which is equally effective. Shape Staphylococcus aureus are spherical shaped bacteria. In microbiology, a spherical or ovoid or round shaped bacterium is called a coccus, plural is cocci. Thus, Staphylococcus aureus is a gram positive cocci. Size The diameter of the cells ranges from 0.5 to 1 micrometer. Arrangement Staphylococcus aureus arranged in grape-like clusters. Cluster formation is due to cell division occurring in three planes with daughter cells tending to remain in close proximity. They may also be found 
singly, in pairs and in short chains of three or four cells. You should note one important point here that is long chains never occur. Next one is motility that is capability of movement or we can say bacterial motility is the ability of bacteria to move independently. Staphylococcus aureus are non-motile bacteria. Next we are going to say about spore formation or sporulation. Let's see what are bacterial spores. Some bacteria can produce small oval or spherical dormant structures that are very resistant to high temperatures, radiations, desiccation and chemical agents. Staphylococcus aureus do not produce spore that is non-sporic bacteria. Next one is capsule formation. Capsules are the outermost structure of bacteria. Most capsules are composed of polysaccharides but some are composed of other materials. Capsule is most important virulence factor of bacteria. It can enhance the ability of bacterial pathogens to cause disease. Capsules protect bacteria from toxic compounds, desiccation, allowing them to adhere to surfaces and to escape the immune system of the host. In Staphylococcus aureus, some strains are capsulated and some strains are non-capsulated. But almost all Staph aureus strains contain gene cluster encoding enzymes for the capsular serotypes and Staph aureus is able to tightly control a capsular polysaccharide synthesis by various regulatory mechanisms in order to adapt to the changing infectious environments. The capsular polysaccharide is one of the cell surface structures playing an important role in Staphylococcus aureus pathogenesis and bacterial evasion of the host immune defenses. Staphylococcal capsular polysaccharides have been shown to possess antiphagocytic properties allowing the bacterium to persist in the blood and tissues of infected hosts. Before concluding, I would like to summarize the main points. 